Hello, my name is Delaney Cosgrove, and I chose to do my assignment on Helen Frankenthaler. She was born in 1928 and died in 2011, and she was a part of the Abstract Expressionism movement. Helen Frankenthaler was born on December 12th of 1928 and raised by her wealthy family along with her two sisters in Manhattan. When she was 11 years old, her father, who had taken a job in New York City as a judge, died from cancer. By that time she was 15, she moved to Dalton School in New York to pursue her interest in art. During that time, she was instructed by Rufino Tomeo. In 1949, she graduated from Bennington College in Vermont. Her professional exhibition career began a year after when her painting, Beach, was chosen for the exhibition called 15 Unknowns, selected by artists of Coots Gallery. Her first solo exhibition was only one year after that at New York's Tabor de Nagy Gallery, which led her later in that year being included in the landmark exhibition called Ninth Street Exhibition of Paintings and Sculptures. In 1952, she created the painting Mountains and Sea, which soon became a breakthrough of American abstraction art. By 1959, she won her first prize at Premier Benale de Paris. In 1966, she represented the United States in the 33rd Venice Finale along with Ellsworth Kelly, Roy Lincolnstein, Jules Altiski, but her first major museum exhibition was in 1960 at New York's Jewish Museum. By 1969, she was included in the Whitney Museum of American Art. Soon after that, she went on an international tour. Her artistic career continued until the last of her few years of her life until she died in 2011 while living in Darien, Connecticut at the age of 83. Helen Frankenthaler was known for having strong feminine energy, even though she didn't want her work to be associated with gender dialogue. She was considered to be reserved and buttoned up until her later life when she embraced her liberation and self-awareness. She once said, what concerns me when I work is not whether the picture is a landscape of whether somebody can see the sunset in it. What concerns me is, did I make a beautiful picture? I think that a lot of artists relate to that, and even in some first don't recognize the intentions, the moment I hear that someone thinks that my work is beautiful, I am put at ease. A lot was going on during her prominent career in the 1960s. The Vietnam War was continuing along with a lot of civil rights protests. U.S. President John F. Kennedy was assassinated along with the prominent leader, Martin Luther King Jr. The one that added a hint of positivity to the 1960s was when the first man landed on the moon. Some popular art movements during the 1960s included pop art. It was considered both modernist as well as contemporary, and it was dominated by Andy Warhol as well as Roy Lincolnstein. And what I have displayed above is Andy Warhol. The second one is conceptual art. It emphasizes ideas as well as theories. Artists taking part in this movement included Marcel Duchamp and Sol Lewitt. Above I have Marcel um, representing the conceptual art. And which was Helen Frankenthaler's movement was abstract expressionism. It is considered to map out the artist's subconscious thoughts, let out emotions, and emphasize spontaneous creativity. Another artist taking part in this movement was Jackson Pollock, which I have displayed above. Helen Frankenthaler commonly used the elements of color, lines, and occasionally shapes. She frequently used rhythm and pattern as her principles of art. Her function of art could be described as falling into the category of delight or beauty due to her consistently expressed desire to create a picture that was considered beautiful. She was never unanimously critiqued. She once got a critique that was closely comparative to the worldview of Helen Frickenthaler's work. This review falls under the expressive theory category and was given by a woman named Barbara Rose. She stated that the freedom, the spontaneity, spontaneity openness and complexity of an image, not exclusively of the studio or the mind, but explicitly and intimately tied to nature and human emotions. And that was how she described her work. Thank you. And next I have my work site. Thank you for watching.